Okay, so I'm Damon Wyman. I am uh, the uh, uh, leader of the laser spectroscopy team at the uh, Rutherford Apton Laboratory. I work with uh, Ralph Spates and uh, I'm working on developing laser systems for uh, uh, remote molecular detection. And today I've presented a talk on what is called a uh, laser heterodyne system. It's quite heavily technical, but it's a very simple instrument which is uh, collecting radiation emitted by molecules and analyze it uh, in order to retrieve quantitative information about it. So this sort of technology has been used over the last 35 years. And, um, and because of laser and detector technology advanced, this, um, uh, this sort of system uh, span off from astronomy application to atmospheric application too. And I've presented, for example, an instrument that we have developed recently who were able to detect uh, uh, ozone in the atmosphere and get information about the quantity of ozone at different altitude. Um, but also this sort of system, as I said, initially developed for astronomy, are now um, finding some application also in the security sector. If you think of it, uh, detecting, for example, ammonia in the atmosphere of Jupiter, it's exactly the same problem as detecting um, a sort of a explosive molecule at uh, a range of 500 meter. The range is different, the scenario is a bit different, but the physics is the same. You have a specific uh, radiation uh, emitted by the molecule or absorbed by the molecule and from that information you can know whether the molecule is there and how much of the molecule you have. So that was the, uh, that was the overall aim of the talk, to show that over the last 35 years, laser heterodyne system with the advance of, of, of laser system, the advance of, of technology, of detectors, uh, this sort of application have moved to closer to us. And, and, and the future is also very bright or many prospects are arising because of technological development. We, the, the laser technology, the detector technology, the all optical instrumentation technology is, is going down in size. We are working on miniaturizing and improving the capability of this sort of instrument. And uh, in the near future, we hope to have some uh, very compact system that could help protect civil infrastructure work with, uh, uh, with the uh, um, uh, uh, local police and so on to, to detect threats, uh, either for in the civil world or also on the battlefield.